big A21, guys. So today, my sister decided to go to the beach there. I'm like, yeah, let's go. This morning I got up so early. We had such a late night last night because I was celebrating my birthday. And this morning I woke up, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna take the dogs out. They look hairy as fuck. I, I thought, okay, I need to trim them. I spent more time on them than myself, but they look cute. <laughs> Hence why we have no makeup on today. It's so sunny this weekend. And I feel like in the UK, we appreciate the sun the most. And next weekend is raining. So this is the only opportunity we have to go and enjoy the sun. We're gonna go to this beach called Camber Sands, which my sister's never been I've to. I've never been, apparently it's picturesque. Yeah. So I'm so excited. A new destination Yay. for the birthday. Birthday girl! Let's go! Birthday celebrations continue! The buggy is meant to be for the dogs and we put all our shit in there. I thought I had a smart idea about going to the beach today, but really, so did everyone else. So now it's so busy. And also I've done the rookie mistake of thinking it's gonna be really hot, but it's actually really windy because you're by the sea. So now I'm cold. All right guys, we set up camp. We said this is not what she's imagining. <laughs> it's just too much people here. At least just woke up from a nap. It's my sister's birthday Hi. and yesterday, me and Gwang forgot Rung's present. I blame Gwang secretly. I'm gonna have a little surprise. It looks like a big box. I'm like spying it from afar. <laughs> okay guys, so this is my sister's birthday present. I hope you like it. It's a big mama guys and it's heavy. <laughs> Do not judge the wrap paper. This is the bag that my sister-in-law got me for my gift. I repurposed it and I didn't have no wrapping paper. So this is part of like a PR box. Oh my God! Spin it to the camera. I got nice and air wrap. Oh, I was gonna buy this. You know, I was saying to tweet, I really want to get Dyson Airwrap, but I want to get it second hand because it's too expensive. So I've been expensive. buying up on Facebook Market. Oh really? Well, you got a brand new one now. Ah, it's the complete full set, and I use mine all the time. So hopefully you would actually use it oh. and grow this knotty hair of yours. Now you're gonna see a whole transformation in the hair. Video coming too soon. <laughs> Last week, guys, I totally forgot to show you guys the dining room table, and she's a beauty. And here she is, guys. Oh my god, she's a freaking beauty. Look at all those squares, all those lines. Oh my god, it looks so sleek, so modern. Oh my god, it goes perfectly with my dining room chairs. This is a 2.8 meter long table. She's a big one. The table has literally come out exactly how I imagined it. We had to get this table custom made because I couldn't find a table big enough to fit this space. Because I wanted eight seats in total, but four seats on each side, rather than having seats at the end of the table. A lot of the tables that were eight seaters, they put the seats at the end of the tables. I only wanted the eight seats to be on either side. It was really hard to find one that was this big in this sort of white finish with black legs and that wasn't extendable. I didn't want an extendable table. I wanted one that was just really big and flush because I didn't want the little lines in the middle of the table. So I felt like making a custom table was literally perfect. Love the marbling of this. It literally matches our kitchen tabletop so well. Like, look at this and look at this. They're basically the same stone. I got the quartz tabletop from a separate company. They're called CB Stone Limited. So if you're looking for any quartz top, if you're looking for any marble work top or anything for bathrooms, kitchens, I just told them what size I needed and they literally cut it up and then signature furniture has created my custom legs for me as well. We're gonna have our first lunch there tonight, hopefully, fingers crossed. Twee so got me a nice, lovely gift. From Twee, aka Grand to Grand. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, you've got a PS5, finally. You've been wanting this for a long time. Since I sold off my last one, made a bit of coin, you know, made about half the price of this one. At the time, we obviously was buying a house, so money was a bit tight. Now, I get paid from Tui to Tui bought this for me. I don't know where you're gonna pull time out of your ass from to even get to play this. I think you're gonna have to sell that one again. <laughs> Maybe I need some days off. Tui's hinted that I should have some days off. No, 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 no. Let's not take it too far now. <laughs> and here she is. Is this your new girlfriend? Yeah. He swapped me in for a new wife. Traded to Ian. Wow! Oh 
Oh my gosh, you go through my decor perfectly. Guys, I am so happy right now. So me and Graham, we went to the garden center today and look what I'm bringing home, guys. The car is basically like a tropical rainforest right now. Oh my God, this is karma. Guang, shut this door into my brand new plant leaf. It hasn't even had a chance to make its way inside my house yet. I went a bit too crazy. I'm in such a happy mood because I finally realized that I have now found a new hobby and my new hobby is plants. We have a dilemma. The other day we went into B&Q and I was like, oh my God, there's a little baby fiddle leaf tree. And I really wanted to get one, even though I know they're high maintenance. This one was thriving. It looked amazing in the shop. Left this plant in the car, went to my brother's house, came back three hours later. And look at the leaves. They're scorched, they're burnt. They didn't apply the SBF. I got this for 27 pounds. 27 pounds for this tall ass plant. I paid 10 pounds for this. And this is literally like triple the size of that other plant. And look, it's got a new little baby leaf growing. And I just love the idea of like looking after something and it, watching it thrive. And every day it's growing something new. This new plant is gonna be called Figgy. <laughs> Figgy, how you do, Figgy? I actually talk to my plants, you know? I'm trying to get a plant in every single room because plants actually clean the air in the room. If we put a plant in the room, hopefully it'll breathe in all of our stank ass breath and blow up some fresh oxygen. And then this is another addition to the Lee household. Now this one right here, she looks like she's gonna be a bitch. She looks like she's about to steal your man. She's gonna live an amazing life, but she probably won't have a long life, <laughs> especially with me as the mum. The leaves are velvet. I wish you guys can touch it, but it's so soft. It's like a suede material. Okay, and last but not least, we have the Monstera plant. Ah! There is a little funny story that I have about this plant, and I don't know if I can tell you, because I don't know if you guys are snitches. Remember the saying, snitches get stitches? I'm gonna tell you guys a story, okay? Because what are you gonna do now? Hunt me down? I'm gonna name you Cheesy, because it's a cheese plant. Okay, so I'm basically gonna go to hell, especially times 10, because I'm telling you this story, okay? We was just gonna keep it within the Lee household chat, but you guys are part of the Lee fam. You guys are part of the gang gang, okay? So do not judge my ass. Oh, she done this a five finger discount. What had happened was, Grant was checking out first because we had two trolleys. The Monstera plant obviously is the biggest one. So that was at the front of the trolley and so was Little Figgy. The woman, she was scanning away. We also bought like lots of these like little pots and stuff like that. And basically the bill came up to like 90 pounds and I was like, oh my God, that's so cheap. And then when I left, I was like, that was so cheap. Why was it so cheap? And I looked at the receipt and basically the woman forgot to scan this plant. This plant was 70 pounds. And I basically got her for free. Is that stealing or is that just taking advantage of um, karma? Because I've been a good person recently, okay? I've been having a rough time and I've been looking after everyone. It's about time someone looks after me, okay? Okay, I just need someone to have an eye out for me, okay? And someone was like, here too, you've been going through it recently. You've been having a rough time. Here is your Monstera plant that you've wanted for so long. Just take it on the house. Just take it, okay? Just go, girl. Just go and give it a good life. Bring it home. It's gonna live in a five-star mansion now. You're gonna live your best life here, okay? Every day I'm gonna talk to you, I'm gonna walk to you. And this is the karma that you get. That is your karma. <laughs> So that is the story of how I got a free Monstera plant. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Sue me! <laughs> Not only have me and Graham been cleaning all day, we also have two robots that's cleaning all day as well. So we're doing battle of the fittest right now. Amazon or Dyson? Who you have your bets on? Bets on Dyson, which is stuck right now. I have my bets on the Dyson. The Dyson's a lot more powerful. And also the Dyson, it knows how to get out of situations. Whereas the Amazon one, it'll just keep biting into things and then it'll just die out of battery. It's so annoying. The Dyson, it has a camera on its head. So it knows when to reverse and where to maneuver. It's so smart. It's under the chair. What should it do? Look. Yeah, look, it got out. It got out, but if it was the Amazon one, it will literally just keep trying to hump over these legs. It's so stupid. But then this one only vacuums. See, the other one mops and vacuums. Caught in the act. Exhibit A. It's stuck all in this maze. Now you're stuck like you're in the maze runner. And he's trying to get through. Look at him, he's trying so hard. It's Wednesday today. And Graham has cooked me lunch. Why you got a plan in your hand? 
because I need to water her. She's my baby. So I literally just finished getting ready. Can you guys believe that I'm filming, editing, and uploading all on the same day? I literally just filmed this makeup tutorial. It's Wednesday, it needs to go up live tonight. I'm gonna have some lunch, go and cook me some pasta. Tomorrow, I'm so excited because my friend Ling, Nathan, and the cats are coming over and staying because there's something wrong with her electricity in the house or something like that. So she asked me if she could stay over. I'm like, yeah, you can come over anytime. We always love a guest or two in this house. We're eating at our dining room table, which is so nice. It's actually so crazy to have all of the space. So I'm gonna eat now. Gonna go quickly edit, upload and then I have to go clean the house because you know when people come over, you want the house to look nice and clean and it's gonna be Nathan's first time looking at our house. So we're gonna have to do the whole house tour thing again, you know. I did it, I finally uploaded my YouTube video, my eyebrow routine. It was the video before this one. So if you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out. In that video, I do sign that I'm gonna take a little bit of a break next week. Enjoy me while you can, guys. I'm not gonna be around forever. I have been so busy that I haven't managed to show you guys my new hot tap. Okay guys, so here is the beloved hot tap. It is matte black. And do you know what? This is actually so nice because I think it's like fingerprint resistant. I don't know, you put your fingerprint in here and then it slowly kind of like goes away. It's crazy. As soon as I saw this option, I was like, yes, daddy, come to me. You can clean your sink so much better so we have obviously regular cold hot just a regular schmegler sink stuff the main reason why we wanted it is because if you do it twice it actually turns red and you get instant hot boiling water look at this look at that steam it is actually hot enough that you can boil pasta with it you can eat pot noodle from it because there's actually a lot of other cheaper hot taps the water isn't as hot as the cooker one that's what the guy was telling me okay he was saying that there's a lot of cheaper ones it's hot down there at the tank but by the time it comes all the way up the pipes and in here it comes out like lukewarm whereas this is actually like instant boiling hot water this is actually a safe for children as well because you have to do it really quickly you have to go down down turn if you do it like one two it doesn't work it just turns on another filter that i'm going to tell you guys in a minute you have to do it in like a quick swift motion like one two quick and then you turn it it actually takes a second for the hot water to come out so just in case it was a mistake you have like a little grace period also the boiling hot water won't work if this is pulled out if this is out like this and i try to turn on the hot water you guys see it doesn't work it has to be in the safe spot like that for it to work so next up we have the next feature which is sparkling water i actually never drink sparkling water but i honestly feel like my house is like the hosting house when guests come around i can be like you want chilled with sparkling water we can literally get sparkling water just by pushing this down and turning it and you can actually see it flashes so that means that it's sparkling water here you can see the bubbles so i'm literally wasting my sparkling water for you guys <laughs> the next option we have is chilled filtered water hold it down and turn it you can see it's just one blue light this actually is the same coldness as what you'd get in a fridge at my old house we actually had this other thing called the virgin water filter and we was planning to take it over to this house i looked at it guys it's been battered and bruised the plastic's all melted and it just didn't go with the vibe here you know like here is more like matte black modern kind of vibes the virgin water filter it just looks a bit chunky she's a bit of a chunky monkey so i left that back at home for my young sister to use because ever since we've had a water filter machine we drink so much more water because at the moment we're literally just buying plastic water bottles which is one really bad for the environment really expensive and also because it's in like a plastic bottle and because i'm paying for it i end up not drinking as much water because i'm like oh no i need to save it for my guests so now we can have unlimited supply of water so i'm going to show you guys underneath the sink because you need a bit of space dun -dun -dun -dun. so this is where all the magic is this is called the cube this house is everything you need for the sparkling water this little tank here is what makes the water sparkling the only two things that you have to place is this one is the co2 for the sparkling water which you 
twist and turn and then you put it back. So depending on how much sparkling water you use, that's when you change out the cartridge. And also this is a scale control unit, which protects this boiler thing here. So it just cuts out the lamb scale really. To know when you need to change it, it will show you what percentage it is on. So if it goes down to 10%, you'll probably order a new one and then you twist and turn and replace that one. So it is 7.30 in the morning. Very, very early. I've been waking up so early recently. I've never seen it so clean before. God damn it. It's like I'm doing a house viewing or something. Looking all nice and fresh. I've got some candles going over here, making the house smell nice. Our sofa area over here. This TV, she needs to sit up a little bit higher because it's sitting on the floor at the moment and you can barely see anything. You know it's tidy when all the shoes are laid out all nice and fresh like this normally it's like jumbled everywhere here we're basically going to be having like a double date sleepover which is so cute i need to set up their bed because there's two of them we need to put up the inflatable bed i'm just anticipating for their arrival i'm so excited because i've never had cats in my house before and this will be a little insight in what it's like owning a cat look at the new guest guys come on Hello. Hello. Oh my god, you creature. You came out looking yeah. majestical. He's a golden child. Oh my god, he must be like, what is this place? We have a cat. <laughs> What's new with you, Ling? What, what's the oh, 411? God. Honestly, if I didn't have Twee in my life, I think I'd be like living on the streets right now. <laughs> my home is going under a little reno. Ooh. Basically, uh, something to do with lights and everything. I live in a new build apartment. Long story short, they need to sort out some lights and electricity. And I can't stay in my apartment when there's no electricity because it's hazardous. Mm -hmm. And then there's like lots of like health and safety rules and they literally the apartment manager is like, you need to get out, otherwise we're gonna go to jail. Oh so my I was god! Like, okay, get out. I messaged Twee like I think like nine o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I'm so sorry, Twee, but can I crash out yours with my free cat? Yeah. <laughs> And now we're here. Of we course, just man, you got, you're welcome all the time. Know, you're always honestly. welcome here. We're having a really nice chill day. The weather's amazing. amazing. So we've literally been like sunbathing. The cats are here. It's actually so crazy to see like a different type of creature here because I normally always have dogs here, right? So it's so nice to see the cats. They, they have been meowing. There's been a couple of poos, yeah. but it's fine. <laughs> just a random dropping of poo oh, here and there. But... The territory. <laughs> this is their home now. I'm a little bit scared because we have to make sure all the windows are closed and hopefully that they're okay but they're gonna be having a little sleepover tonight. So yeah, yeah, we're gonna go and just chill out today, relax. It's so nice having like a fresh breath of air, you know? Sometimes mm. when you've just like been talking to your boyfriend nonstop, you can't wait oh, to have like a new me. energy, you know? It feels so good to be around female energy. I know, it's so crazy. So good. Yeah, but we've literally been like sweating out here. So we're gonna go inside now. Hello, Coco. He's been staring outside because he wants to go out there, but you can't. Look who we have over here. This is Killua. Look at their paws, look at their paws. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh my God, if I had a cat, this would be the exact cat that I get. Oh, hello, you wanna stay with me, don't you? You don't wanna go home with Ling. Oh my God, this nose is like a little button. <laughs> Over on this side, in my ensuite, we have another kitten. Oh my god, this one looks evil. This one is Pumpkin. She looks quite scary. She has such a different face, this one. Let me try to show you. Those crazy looking cats. These are Persian cats. Look at her nose, it's like a little button. It's so cute. A cross between like a little pug and a cat. It's so weird. Her face is so flat. And cat sitting, guys, it's so cute. Oh, it's so nice having animals in my house. I think it's time to get a little animal for myself, guys. I am so ready to give Killer away. <laughs> he is so annoying. It's like having a one year old baby who just wouldn't stop me out last night. <laughs> Kept me up most of the night, kept Nathan most up most of the night. She just went to shop and I'm so surprised I didn't wake you up. I literally couldn't hear a thing. She sits like this. <gasps> Mouth open, attracted all the flies. <laughs> To be fair, it was a bit of a boring documentary, but she was like this. Literally 15 minutes in. No, no. <laughs> no. I did watch a little bit of it. 30 seconds in. Probably 30 seconds in. And you guys want to know the truth of what really had happened yesterday? The electricity was still on in oh the house. God, yeah. So I'll be back again in two weeks. Be ready for the future vlogger. <laughs> My girl Ling just left. She left at 8 a.m. in the morning, guys. Can you believe I woke up at 6.30 today? 
don't know what's up with me, but when I know I have to get up early, my eyes are just like ding without no alarm clock. So yesterday it was so nice hanging around with Ling. She had a problem with her apartment about the electricity. Turns out that they couldn't even do the thing with the electricity yesterday. So she could have went back home, but she was here anyway. So she still stayed over. So today I'm going to go into London because I'm going to be getting my laser done. I haven't done laser in six weeks, I think. My hairs are going really, really fine now. So I feel like these are probably going to be like the last few sessions. I am also also gonna be going to get my eyebrows redone as well now that it's been like a couple of months now i can definitely see like a few patches that we can touch up so we're going to be doing derma pen today and then i think i might see my friend danny as well because i'm going to be in london here with lan she's doing my eyebrows today so we're literally just numbing everything up we are going a little bit darker and also we're just like defining the shape a little bit more when you do get your eyebrows you actually get a free top up as well so definitely worth booking in she also does amazing lashes as well if you guys ever want your eyebrows and lashes to be done yeah i'll leave a link down below this shape looks very mr bean you know <laughs> who remembers mr bean okay let's do the big mm -hmm. reveal wow that looks amazing okay guys so my eyebrows are done they look good they literally look like i just tinted them they don't even look like scabby or anything that you would think a tattoo would look like so that's a good sign my eyebrows literally didn't take half the amount of time that i thought it needed so now i've got like an hour to spare but it's such a nice day today that i'm actually enjoying walking around got a big oversized shirt on some denim shorts i haven't worn denim shorts in so long i'm at pulse light clinic now got my special glasses on this little piece of paper is holding my dignity together because i'm about to get my bikini lasered and guys when i tell you the bikini area getting that lasered is just life-changing i haven't shaved in ages and the hair is growing back like finer thinner than ever i hardly ever need to shave on my legs anymore i'm doing my underarms and my bikini area and then my legs i'm gonna wait until the end of summer because i've been enjoying the sun too much and you can't get laser done when you have a tan if you've got any fake tan any type of tan you can't get laser but for the bikini and underarms it's fine guys i just had my bum hole lasered it was not a pretty sight <laughs> i had to spread my bum cheeks open so she can get up in there and it literally felt like my bum hole was on fire but as soon as the laser's off there's no more pain oh my god that was too much guys the bikini area the bum hole area it's the most painful but it's the most effective as well if you can have a smooth pum pum 24 7 why the hell not girl we're doing derma pen now so we're putting on like a hyaluronic serum and this is gonna help with pores evening out your skin texture and it doesn't hurt it just literally feels scratchy and it's meant to basically put little holes on the top layer of your skin so that your skin knows to rejuvenate itself and this is the best thing to do if you've got acne scars if you've got large pores it just really helps even out your skin texture i actually have a discount code with pulse like clinic which i'll leave on the screen here and you guys can save yourself some money okay guys so i just arrived at my friend daddy's house. hello <laughs> i made him put on my hat guys because he has a special little announcement that he can't reveal yet i have a new hair color and i don't know if i can show anyone yet it looks good but it's very different it's very bright but it's you're bright. gonna like it yeah you literally look like a little skittle <laughs> tweet's face when she came into the house she was like wow oh, no, i like but, this hat i feel like oh, it matches my jeans it's so cute Ooh, i can't get my leg up oh there it is <laughs> it kind of so it's friday evening we literally have no plans and i'm actually here by myself grand's at home working well you know what that means <laughs> when the cat's away the wife comes out to play <laughs> so we decided to go to the cinema and look come on say hello oh my god <laughs> We're watching Escape Room. Okay, Danny, what do you think? It was good. Not as good as the first one. I think the ending was like very quickly and then just changed. And I was like, okay. Yeah. This one, she had a right good sleep. Having a little snore. She was like, I was like, oh, you're missing all the film. Literally seen one to your sleep. Oh, oh this, my is God. This, is this oh, the worst. Room? This is an Escape Room in itself. <laughs> Yesterday, I had such a good day with Danny. We went to go watch a movie. The movie wasn't that good, if I'm honest. I totally fell asleep. I loved the first 
first escape room but this escape room it was quite boring a bit long-winded i definitely recommend the first escape room movie not the second one last week i told you guys that i had a special announcement and i couldn't show you guys last week i'm going to insert the footage here bling, bling, bling. announcement okay. 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 thank you for the food um i'm pregnant go on Huh? I'm breaking. I just love it. Shut up. No. Oh, Five months. Look at Lola. I swear. I swear. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Are you not? Oh my god. Oh, congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Oh my god. Oh my god. The fucking news is so snatched in the top of the as well. Oh my god, I'm crying. Oh my god. We're not snatched anymore, guys. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah, and then we feel it. She's pregnant. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was the last thing I was talking about. I'll show you, I did a collaboration. Oh yeah, so guys, I've done a collaboration with Cut the cameras! Cut the cameras! I'm gonna be an auntie! Oh my god! I'm an auntie! Layla! Oh Layla! That is right, Layla is pregnant! My girl Layla! This is the first person in my friendship group that is pregnant or gotten married or taken that next step of life. It just makes you evaluate your own life. Like, are you ready for kids? Are you ready to take that next step? That is a big commitment, but I'm so happy for Layla. She's gonna be the best mum ever. I know she doesn't show her partner online, but he is the nicest person ever. I feel so privileged to know both of them. They are such nice people. They're gonna go so far in life. They're literally like the perfect power couples. Let me know what you think Layla's gonna have down below in the comment section. I was just as shocked as you was. That was the last thing that I honestly thought Layla would say, but yeah, it's so crazy that she's the first in in our group to take that next step and I'm just so so happy for her please go to Layla's page and wish her a big congratulations that is it for this week's vlog guys thank you guys so much for watching this week there's not going to be a Wednesday video unfortunately I've just been feeling a little bit overwhelmed this week me and Grant are actually going to take off and we are going to focus on going back to my mum's house we're literally going to fix all the holes and all the walls we're going to be cleaning up over there we're also planning to paint Grant's room as well this week so it's gonna be a busy week full of DIYs full of just things that I just need some time off work for so thank you guys so much for watching there will still be a Sunday vlog next weekend I'm gonna keep you guys updated on next week's vlog on how long this hiatus will be hopefully it's just gonna be like one or two weeks yeah I've been feeling a little bit run down a little bit overwhelmed recently with all the things that I have to do behind the scenes so forgive me for there not being a Wednesday's video it's not the end of YouTube even though so many people are saying YouTube is dying. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! This is an update by the way. Second day, post brow, tattooing and oh my god, I love it. I've done my makeup so much quicker today because I didn't have to do my brows. You and your five finger discount? No, you can't say that. I'm not saying it on the vlog. Should I tell them or is everyone going to think I'm going to hell? I'm going to be in hell already. See you there, honey. Because he's... <laughs> Oh my god, I picked it just before it, it dropped. <laughs> okay, let me see the frame in you before you get me looking all ugly. Fuck off! I knew it was her calling me. The lovebirds are back, guys. They're back together. Reunited and it feels so good. They were literally just humping each other. And as soon as I got off the camera, they got camera shy. Come on, girl. Do your thing, no one's looking. Just a few thousand people on YouTube, you know, just a small audience, come on. So now, I <laughs> my hat. Good morning, guys. Ow, I hit my head. Oh my freaking ponytail, that hurt. I nearly smashed this glass. Did you hear that? Oh. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cutest thing ever. <laughs>